I'm in a very aggravated state of mind. Um, yeah, I'm aggravated because I, it feels like every day I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit by some type of creepy crawly thing, and it's just really getting it's it's getting me there. It's getting on my nerves. Good morning. Hello, hello everyone. This is Frugalizing Your Lifestyle. Today we are talking about bugs. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Summer, sp spring and summer is coming around. I do not like these months on the counter. It feels like I'm getting bit every, every other hour. I feel like I'm getting bit and I am tired of it. I mean, who, I mean, comment below who, I mean, around this time, does anyone like this? I don't, I don't like this time just because I feel like I get bit. And I can be a beautiful flower like I want to because I'm always paranoid and worried about it. I'm getting bit everywhere. It's just a mess. It's a mess. However, since these um, seasons are changing, I do have to like really know what um, products, like new products they have out there for bugs, what different um, remedies I can use for when I do get bit or getting prevented from getting bit, what scents to wear, what not to wear, all this other good stuff. So I've been just really, for the past couple of days, been trying different things to see what works because by, you know, by the evening, I'm just like scratching, like my legs are the, the worst. It's just terrible. I know my first really bad experience is when I was uh, pregnant with baby girl and I used to go outside with husband and I was getting tore up. And they mentioned that um, bugs love, I guess, something about pregnant women. So, like, for me being pregnant ever since then, I've just been trying to come up with anything possible. Not to smell sweet, you know, try to stay away from sweets. Um, spray, get, get every type of spray I could think of. Just in case I <clears throat> do get bit or before... You know what happens uh, if I go outside with baby girl. So I'm like drenched in bug spray, and that's just not cute. I just don't want to be smelling like you know. I just want to smell like chemical, like walking around. This is not hot. So yeah, this video is gonna be basically me um, sharing um, tips, tricks, remedies that I've been using that kind of help me that I've been learning, or I can still learn. But for me, I've so far I've came across a couple of things that kind of help. At least after the bit, you know, and the itching, so. <laughs> all right, all right. I think let's just get started to this video. All right, first we need to be identifying what kind of bug you got bit by. Because I feel like every time it's a mosquito. I'm like, it's a mosquito, it's a mosquito, you know. And then it could be like just something totally different. So I think the first thing you need to know is what type of bug that you get. You got bit by. Nowadays, people, um, not even outside getting bit, like, like me, I'm getting bit from the inside. So sometimes those mosquitoes and stuff like that come inside the house. So you need to make sure you're not leaving puddles of water around. You're not leaving anything that can, um, attract any of those type of bugs. Um, at least that much. I learned to try not to leave puddles of water around, which is hard because like sometimes we're in the backyard and we're playing in the pool. So... For, yeah, for me that I have to be careful of leaving exposed water around. Okay. Now, Miss uh, Frugalizzi Lifestyle, what type of bugs are you talking about? Are we talking about this really this simple little mosquitoes, ants? Yeah, I'm talking about all of them, okay? I'm talking about uh, spiders, chiggers. We're talking about bees. We're talking about widows. We're talking about, uh, um, uh, what is it called? Brown recluse. I'm, I'm talking about all, all of them. I'm talking about all the... the the mites, the whatever insect that's flying, I don't care if it's a fly, shoot. Nowadays flies so big, they feel like they bite you, so. All right, let's just say we want to start getting prevented. <clears throat> Prevent, so, or what can we do from not attracting bugs? What scents, what clothing, all that. So mosquitoes and flying other bugs, they are active around dusk and dawn, and so we wanna stay indoors during those times so let's make sure we're staying in if you don't want to get bit okay stay away from dark clothing which is so hard for me because i really love my dark clothes but they want you to wear long sleeve lightweight clothing 
something delicate to the skin. Um, they use, want you to use your fans. Yes. Cause that's going to ward off the, uh, you know, the, the circulation is going to like push the mosquitoes away. So you use your fans, uh, repair any window, um, screens or anything like that. So the bugs don't get in, um, um, use tinted light bulbs outside. So I guess instead of your like bright lights, they want you to use tinted light bulbs. I guess bugs is going to think it's like, <laughs> you know how, what are those bugs called that, you know, they get drawn to the line, they get shocked. I don't know what they say. Leave a comment below. I forgot what that was. But yeah, it's going to ward them off instead of um, attracting them. You want the opposite. You want to detract them. Now this, this is the thing that gets me. I mean, I try to stay away. I use essential oils. I don't really try to wear perfume. There is one perfume perfume that I really enjoy. Um, I cannot remember the name. A hubby got it for me like two years ago. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but that's the only one I really, really use. The one by Julia Roberts. Tell me the one comment below I don't really remember the name of it um, but it smells really good and I just stick to that but anyway I use essential oils I use Gardena Gardena is my favorite one it smells so good you guys ah. um, but that's the only one I really use for perfume or smell good or whatever other than that I try not to put anything on um, yeah I work out a lot so it's like in and out, wash out, hygiene, back to regular clothes, workout. It's like so I don't, you know, only if I go out with hubby or something like that. Um, but I'm not saying I'm stinky and nothing like that. You know, I keep it, you know, I keep it clean. But anyway, they tell you not to wear perfumes, colognes, or anything scented like that. So if you do, they want lemongrass or cedar or uh, eucalyptus. Uh, what's a good one? Um, lavender. Now. Um, if you're not able to like, or uh, if you're not into the, the essential oils or anything like that, there are several plants that can act as natural bug repellents. So sweet basil, there's uh, plant lemon thyme, there is tansy, it's different ones that you can look up also um, that will act as a natural plant repellent. And uh, if you can just place those around your home as well. Do I have any plants around the house? No. No, I, I don't. <laughs> For one, I have tried to plant flowers, plants, one little, little, but I don't know. I think the way the layout of the house, I don't, I'm not getting enough sun. Furthermore, I try to keep myself busy indoors. So I forget if I do put the plant outside, I always forget it. And then when I put it in, I have to worry about um, moving it to like, the correct spots in the house where the sun is at at the proper time and baby girl will be like oh I want it. so it's just you know I'm not the gardening type I <laughs> would like to be but I'm I'm just not all right so now I'm gonna just give you a couple of products that I use first off if I am I can't rush not really paying attention and like really you know try not to anyway these are the products I use if I'm if I do get um bit so the first one is the off one, the unscented, but the one with the aloe vera. This is a good one. I just don't like the pump. It's like forever. So this is a good one. Um, I wish it did have the like the deep in it though. So I noticed that the one that has deep, that one really wards off. It, you good. You could just sit there and you good. So, but this one is a good one. What happens if you get bit? Like. You start scratching, you're like, oh my gosh, it's burning so bad. Like, I can't take it over. I'm like in that state of mind. Like, I just start scratching. I don't care because it's it so bad. And it's like, you be like, you know how the little dogs, they little legs move and you roll their belly. That's what we feel like. But um, I came across these two items. Um, there's this one right here. Boop. It's like a little sponge or roll. This one's a good one. Um, smell. It smells like um. It smells like it reminds me of like off, but like, but yeah, use three to four times a day. See, and I got time that. See, I got to hurry up. I'm forget. But yeah, there's this one. I bought this one. The next one. This one I just barely got. It's really Benadryl. We know Benadryl works. So, um, this one is recently. I just bought this one. Screw on top again. This one. This smells like more of a cleaner. Not like a bathing, but it's just, it don't smell like toxic. 
so far so good I haven't got big yet but the next thing I'm going to talk about is what to do if you want to use like natural products when you're still itching so let's get to that now I've been using like stuff over and over bags and bags and bags <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed but like when you be itching and you just the scars alone you get tired of seeing those scars because you're like oh my god this is ridiculous all right let me get my bag up here real quick Ugh. all right this one uh-huh i like this one it dries quickly we all know calmon lotion is really good um poison ink bites all that stuff so y'all this one's pretty good we all know this one get it at your local store um the only thing I don't like about this one is um, you have to remember to wash it all because you walk around all pink and um, it will stay on there for a very long time. So just imagine you have that on there, okay, right? This this is if you're going on like a outside trip or something like that because it's going to stay white on you just like that. So that's, I mean, it's good, but use this one probably throughout the night if you were to do that. Not during the day because you can't walk around looking like this. Just don't want to do it. <laughs> So if you have getting bits, they say use toothpaste. Um, have I done that? No, I haven't done toothpaste on a on a bug bite because that's not the first thing I'm gonna run to go think. I'm gonna either get the repellent or I will get. Um, but they say toothpaste is good. They list uh, Listerine is good. They list. Um, I'm trying to think of stuff that's already like in your house that you don't have to worry about like going to really go and buy um they say honey is good you got your essential oils is good some um lemon juice some vinegar brings me to my next thing vinegar apple cider vinegar i use this i just pour it in my hand it's just just ah, just stop itching it just does work but it stings in the same token so it's like <sighs> so yeah i use this from time to time they also say put tape so um soak a cotton ball and then tape it on you. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm not about to look for some tape. I can't find it somewhere. It's just no. So, but yeah, it's good. But I'm not supposed to soak it in no cotton ball and put tape on it. Cause I'll forget. It. Now, all those things that Mitch, I'm talking about some natural stuff that you already have in your house as bugs, or after you have gotten bit. So some of this stuff is um, after you got bit, you could use it to. I would say this one probably to prevent it, cause the smell of it, vinegar um tea bags some basil so some of those can be used before like dryer sheets i used to when i if i'm going to like an outdoor account concert i will put like dryer sheets and rub that scent on me because i know that works a lot i know why i didn't pack that in here so now the the one thing i've been this is my little concoction i have in my bottle i just started this this week because it's really bad anyway i have um witch hazel some Listerine. I just bought like a little travel size Listerine pack. I'm trying to put this stuff up here. Um, this, some Listerine and some green rubbing alcohol. Mix that in there with some, I don't know why I didn't get that. Um, peppermint, like your essential oils, peppermint uh, drops. I have that in here. And that relieves the itch, I've noticed, really well. It's a sh it smells like straight Listerine though. Like, <laughs> you wouldn't think that, um, a bug I don't know I feel like it's more sweet than to me anyway but um so far I don't know if it's gonna work if I spray it and then go outside I'm gonna have to test it out and see if any bugs are attracted to this concoction that I made but it does relieve the itch I've noticed for like a couple of hours like I say four four or five hours so that's good so now we're at the point where we need to get some sleep stop itching so I just use some Benadryl they tell you to use some um, antihistamine so Benadryl. I just take a half a tablet a night. At least I'll go to sleep. At least I'll stop it from itching as far as in my mags. I'll be like sleep, you know. <laughs> but they say they so you can use that and I know that works because you're not worried about getting um scratching or anything like that or irritating your skin and opening up old wounds and things like that so that the main thing you're trying to do is not scratch, which is so hard to do. So so far I haven't been really um hurting like scratching so that's this is good though again uh what else so we're talking about that was all like the most natural thing that's around your house for um after you get bit 
Um, the last thing I did want to mention, um, I what I did in my bedroom, I sprayed all around my, my bedroom, like with a lavender or soybean oil or lemongrass. I sprayed that all around the like my bed. And then I put dryer sheets like in between the mattress or in between like the fitting sheet. Did that around there just to be safe because you never know. So also you need to steam your uh, mattress. You need to wash. I washed my, um, I guess your bedding in hot water. So and I cleaned it with vinegar, just straight vinegar. I didn't add no soap or nothing to it because I mean, she's the best cleaner these days is vinegar. So girl, I got that. Um, but yeah, um, I guess from here on out, um, it's summertime and it's coming around. You guys protect your skin. Um, and we're talking about as far as getting bit by bugs, protect yourself, either toxic, non-toxic ways, um, um, around your house, stuff that products that you have around your house, um, stuff that you can use throughout the night. I mean, there's a lot of things. Um, what else? The little sticks, if you're on the go, you can, these are good. And, um, yeah, protect your skin, like clothing. Um, watch out for dripping water or left puddles of water. Um, get familiar with, get familiar with what, what bit you as well, so you know how to properly take care of that. Remember not to scratch. Um, if there's anything else I forgot or you want to ask me, leave it below. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Wash your your bedding in hot water. Use vinegar. Just try to be as if you want to be um, natural products. Do that. Use some plants around your house. Um, try not to use fragrance on your body. Try to just stick to if you do want to smell good. Try to just do essential oils, but something that can still repellent. Uh, keep the bugs from biting you, like lavender, lemongrass, and all that good stuff. Um, I think I mentioned everything. If I forgot anything, I'm sorry. And uh, I'll list some of these products in my um, box below. So you guys, I hope you like this video. So give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. This is for your lifestyle. Later.